So, how to remove front seats on an Alfa Romeo 156? Well, it's a very simple job. Uh, all you really need is an... What's this? Imbus key? Uh, I like to use it with uh, ratchets because it's way easier. And all you really have to do is unscrew four screws. One here, one on the other side, and two on the back. Uh, you also have to undo the seat belt. You don't have to remove the whole seat belt assembly, you just need to remove the seat belt that's uh, holding on to here on the seat. I have this in another video, I'll link it, uh, and you can check out there. It's very simple, all you need is a Phillips screwdriver and a 17mm wrench or something like that. So anyways, first what you want to do, uh, if your Alpha has an airbag, you should really remove the battery so it doesn't so it does not uh, pop the airbag here because you know how Italian electronics and airbags are together. Okay, so once you have detached the battery, it's a really simple job to do this. All you really have to do is just push the seat back and then you get access to these two screws. And after that, you do the same just on the back. Um, it doesn't really matter in which order you do it. Uh, you can first go back and first go front. You can go left or right if that's more your thing. But yeah, it's a very simple job. You just unscrew these and you don't really need a lot of force. I can try doing it on camera, but it may not really work. So maybe I'll do it off camera, but it should be relatively easy. Yeah, I, I really have professional tools from the dollar store. So you can see it's a really easy job. You can do it from the tools from the dollar store. So yeah. Oh crap, I have put it on the wrong. No, I have not. I'll just unscrew it and it should go very easily. There isn't much force needed for it. Now it's it's already loose. So you can just use whatever kind of tool you like. And there we go. And you just repeat the step on all the four sides. Uh, one thing to take note, when you take off the seat, you see this uh, little pattern that's clear. That's because of this uh, little metal thing. Uh, be careful to keep safe of them, don't lose them, because uh, you'll need them when you reattach the seat. Okay, so once you have unscrewed the front two, you can pull the seat forwards. So, after you pull the seat forwards, you just move to the back and do the exact same process again. Uh, so one thing you should take note of the back is do not try to pull out these two screws or holders uh, because there is a screw right here uh, which is connected to the seat assembly. So all of this goes out um, because on the other three they are like this so it may get confusing between these two. So just uh, undo this one, don't touch these because uh, I don't know how to get that fixed if you break them. Uh, but you just unscrew these two and that should be it. Okay, so after you have unscrewed these two, what you're gonna wanna do is you wanna push the seat back again. Be careful, cause now it may fall off. And uh, on my model, there isn't such a thing, but if you have uh, a little yellow connector, uh, which is the airbag connector, make sure uh, to disconnect it. And when you do that, make sure uh, before you disconnect the yellow thing to disconnect your battery because you really don't want your airbag to blow on you uh, That would be quite bad. Yeah, so make sure to do that. So now that the seat is free all you have to do is unwind this Phillips screw and the seat belt cover which is back here uh, I have a separate video on how to do that and I'll just link it to you and you can check out it's a very simple job uh, just just to 17 millimeter uh, wrench and that's all you need to use so yeah do not worry if it takes some time it's a really long screw and eventually it will just come out okay so once you took the old seat out you can put a new one back in and well it happened to me already automatically i put it perfectly somehow but there is a, a little pin here that will align it for you so it fits uh, good on this rail. Uh, the other rail can sometimes get misaligned, uh, but the really easy solution is just pull up on the thing which puts the seat forward and backward, 
and you can just adjust it that way. It's a bit difficult doing it alone, uh, but it's still possible. Uh, one thing to note, if this gets detached from your bolt, uh, this is how you put it back in. So, this big side on the outer, the uh, smaller side on the inner, the little metal thingy should go inside, and the other two should be like this. And there we go, it felt once again. So, just reattach it, and it should look like this.